Show with Dan Squad. It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we're going to check out Toji Fushi Girl How to Dodge Child Support by Captain Pippin. He dropped this like an hour ago. Hey man, Toji and JJK, let me tell you, this man is the definition of built different of the fact that he sold his own son for a better life to a, to a crew that he does not even mess with because of the way how they treated him back in the day and then the premature ass whooping that he gave to Megumi even though he didn't know it was his own son man this man told you was not trying to pay any child support or any type of that shit but I know there's gonna be a really good one Captain Pippin shout out to you bro for for this vid so enough with the chit chat let's get down to business appreciate all the love for you guys so tell me to run the mic subscribe all that good stuff let's get it <laughs> what? Good. <laughs> I'm your host, Captain Pimpin, aka Big Boss, and today we'll be talking about the legendary Toji, arguably one of the strongest nicks in this universe. No debate. Now his pullout game, on the other hand, definitely not the same caliber, but he has managed to avoid his son for his entire lifetime. So you know, there's that. I mean, you know, nigga got a hundred percent sneak, <laughs> avoiding all that child. That's wild. <coughs> but enough chit chat. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you really support the channel. But <coughs> enjoy, niggins. Let's get it. What's happening, baby? How's the kid? H how's the kid? Are you serious, Toji? This little nigga needs some clothes, diapers, and lunch money for his first day at pre-K. Man, shut the hell up, man. I'll send some bread when I can. You said that shit last year. Hold up, some came up. Toji. Alright, so we somewhere in the middle of the Shibuya arc, and this nigga Toji gets revived by some ugly ass witch from the 1800s. The lady basically ended up. Yep. The way how Toji got his body back. With this lady doing some witchcraft type shit, but thinking that he she could order this man told you around with her grandson's body, which is completely fucked up. But little did he know, he gained his body back. And what he did to her, oh my god, insane. I'm sacrificing her grandson because oh boy, deadbeat genes are so dormant, like he literally took all of Toji's good looks and devilish charm. Cuz I feel so bad for our supposed to be savior. Man didn't even stood a chance. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Bro. What he did to that sorcerer? Oh my god, Toji did that nigga dirty. Bro took all the assholes and Megami was supposed to be getting in like under 30 seconds. <laughs> Megami, just like his daddy. This nigga since he mastered his death. Like, come on, bro. Like, that was really his first mission, too. Hey, cuz, you seen Ski Mask yet? Hey, hell nah. He should have been killed that fuck nigga. He's a granny by now. Get some lunch. That's all you had to say, gang. Granny over here trying to give her grandson some new orders. But, uh, <laughs> this nigga starts tweaking out. This nigga told you it's back. You and is ready to unleash his deadbeat Black Air Force energy at anybody. Mmm. Yep. Nigga, first instinct is to obliterate the old hag with his back hand. Damn. Rip Grams, man. She was finna give me the craziest gummy bear sloppy top right after that, man. The next appearance we get from the deadbeat is him pulling up to beat Dagon's ass for no, literally no reason. <laughs> like, he literally has no reason to be here. He's just there. This wastes no time long dicking this octussy down. Mm. Mr. Dagon must think he Drake or something. The way he's just swinging his meat around. But I don't think Toji goes those ways. Or at least he... Or at least he's looking at Dagon like a like a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like he's seeing Shorty at the club and y'all just making eye contact and smirking. Let's not be stupid, baby. <laughs> I know you like what you see, my baby. <laughs> you know what's about to go down? Me and you. Fist the cuffs! Smackdown Raw! No protection! Still tear to the face like I'm Shawn Michaels! There's no need for that shit, bro. Like, bruh. But that club fire where you're meeting a girl and you're just making eye contact with her, it'd be like that. Told you just gave bro a sex change mid fight and smacked the shit out of him for trying them like that. Just look at that smile, bro. This is something to be worried about. If a nigga 
smiled at me like that, I'd probably piss my pants. I feel like a woman walking home at night and there's some big broly broly built ass nick following me, bro. I'm being hunted. Call the police. Anyway, this nigga told you sharp as Maki's cursed weapon to uh to a point and stacks octopus guy in the jugular. And he did it again and 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 again. Bro basically beat his ass out the domain. Shit. I don't even think he's alive no more, for real, for real. Real talk between me and you, it might have been too much testosterone for an octopus to handle. So after that disgusting ass performance we've witnessed through our screens, Toji redirects his attention to his big ass son, Megami. Toji gotta be disappointed right now. Nigga got his son running before the fight even started. You remember when I said, I feel like a woman walking home late at night and there's some big broly brow gas built ass to follow me late at night ass nigga? Yeah, this was exactly what I was referring to. Toji ends up cutting Megami off and bro tries to use some Taijutsu. Cuz this n is literally slapping that shit out of his face. The rabbits had to step in and save their mans. But it, it was pointless, bro. I mean, bro threw his spear in the air and hit the craziest drop ever. Cuz tapped into Ultra Instinct and cleared the scene under like two seconds. But I'm not even mad at Megami no more. Cuz like, what was he gonna do in that fight? Hmm? Bro had no choice but to run away from this demon. But hey, before Toji could kill him, bro ended up remembering who Megami was. Hey, cuz, guess what? What? Your mama bitch ass put me on child support 15 years ago, little nigga. I ain't paying shit. <laughs> nigga, what? Yep. After beat giving his son Megami the beats, this man, I like, know what? Fuck it. Takes the thing. <laughs> Killing him instantly and telling them that I ain't paying that child support later, nigga. Nigga died. Chopped all his damn loot. Did all that for no fucking reason. What the hell? We not done here, cuz. I know y'all remember the time, bro, pulled the ultimate cock block and all the shit on bro. Bro just got done violating Gojo and decided. I just take out Ghetto's new thought for the fun of it. I don't even think he realized she dead yet. Bro was for real thinking about spending the rest of his life with this chick, bro. And he ain't even Max. hit. Get your sh together, simp ass. And that's the sad part too. Like when you're talking to somebody, next thing you know, she doesn't let let you hit. For for everybody out there, if you know, you know. What's wrong with it? Now she just a flashback. Character development. Get over it. This how you know Ghetto didn't stood a chance. Cause this nigga told you been spilling the beans about his entire life story and yapping about how his cursed object works. Like bro, we do not care. Get to boxing. Long story short, Ghetto sent a giant dragon after him. That didn't work. Nigga sliced that bitch in half. Then he pulled a Dio and stopped time. That ain't worked either, bro. Just broke the domain. Nigga said, what is this? But this the funny part. Cause Ghetto tried to really pull a him on him. That completely backfired on it, bro. Oh! 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 Oh, damn! Oh! Oh! Police! Go, police! Hey! That's a damn shame. Rest in peace, Ghetto. Mm-mm-mm. Him and his bitch flashback now. That shit crazy. I wouldn't let that happen to me. To <laughs> me personally, I don't even know what the hell I would have done. Same. Mm-mm-mm. Hugging mm -mm -mm. two just like that y'all i'm gonna end it right right here of the fact this man told you really did he sold his own son decided to when he figured out he giving ghetto and putting uh ghetto rico and uh gojo in a freaking pack and then when he jogged his memories knowing that he does have a son put putting uh that Dagon into some fried calamari, beating the living daylights out of his son. Even though Megumi was trying to throw a fight at him, but that didn't do jack shit. And after that, how did it end it? My man to Toji had the thing, stabbing him in the head, killing him, and ending his own life and not paying no child support. Yeah, man. That's that's how it was, but overall this was a really dope video. Shout out to the homie Captain Pippin, bro. If you're watching this, shout out to you, to you, man. Keep keep.
keep up the good work bro so comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this video i appreciate the time i love y'all so much for showing love and support to the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you run the like subscribe tap that bell so you don't miss any video that i post rose 1k is up and stuck appreciate y'all chilling with me catch y'all in the next video peace